what you have before you is a total lack and respect for authority. Francisco Chiazzo, Dusty La Vega, the ACW Tag Team Champions, we are collecting gold right, left, and center. You got that right, Frankie. Collecting is what we're going to do, and Rich is going to take care of Mr. Hudson. But tonight, Cider, you're all alone because your little buddy got his culo kicked. <laughs> so you're all alone tonight. And get ready. Me and Richie, or I'll tell him, the set incorporated is going to do what we do best. And we are going to run through every single person that stands in front of us. We are going to take care of John Hudson. We are going to take care of Cider. And we are going to take care of that little old man that they brought along, Devin. And we are going to run through each and every one of them and be the victors, baby. And John, I will see you real, real soon because I'm going to have that heavyweight title around my waist with my boys. Ah, time! Ya tu Accompanying me at the broadcast booth, none other than Vic Slohan, and on my right, Kirby Carry On. Boys, we're going to have a fantastic night of professional wrestling. Absolutely, Vic Slohan in the house, back at Training Center, back at Proving Ground, and we're ready for a big night tonight. Vic, we're glad to have you here tonight, but Kirby, the mastermind, Jay Sky, is in the building tonight, and it's going to be Gemini and Jay Sky going one-on-one -on -one to start off tonight's event. I love the fact that this event is called Proving Ground. We see it week in and week out. All of the students here at the WWN facility always trying to prove themselves to get to that very next level, and we are getting with, started with some hot action here tonight. You see right here, gentlemen, a very interesting matchup. Damon last week actually went for the Cruiserweight Championship. Valiant effort, I may say, but no one's beating Daniel Starlin right now. And on the other end, you got the mastermind. He's on a hot winning streak. He's climbing up the ranks right here at Proving Ground. Well, you have to know that both of these men are focused on championship contender status. That is to come later on in the evening. However, for now, Jay Sky and Gemini locking up in the center of the ring, a collar and elbow. Transitioning into the corner now. Gemini seemingly in peril. Kirby, I have to ask you in a situation like this one, what's the feeling out process going to be like? You have to see who would be having the advantage. Just by looking at these two gentlemen right now, I would have to assume that Sky has that power advantage, especially considering that Gemini is a cruiserweight contender. We can see right here, he's got to use his speed. He's got to be faster than the other man in order to be able to capture a victory. And look at this headlock. He's already got it tight. Yes, yeah, so he's trying to do that. Jay Sky attempting to utilize that strength advantage you spoke on earlier, Kirby. Give it time, give it time. The mastermind right there. Look at him just switch into that side headlock. He's already got another, another move ready to go. Oh, and the punishment comes right in. Well, there's a reason they call this man the mastermind. He believes he's the smartest man in professional wrestling today. Gemini well, looking to prove that otherwise, though. He very well could be the smartest man in wrestling today. Again, Damon actually was part of a tag team there, the Puerto Rican Hound Dogs, and they were doing pretty well in the tag team division. But lately, he's decided to go the singles route a little bit. Look at this athleticism here from Jay Sky, the mastermind, putting oh. in the work here. 
<laughs> I love it. I love that aggression. I love that assertion. Chop right to that pectoral muscle, and now squeezing in that side headlock, yeah. trying to wrench all of the power, the, the power which Gemini does have out of the body of his competitor now. Once again, this block. power just seems to be coming through here, Walker, as it looks like the mastermind. He feels like he's already got the game plan perfected in order to get the victory here tonight. He's always thinking two, three moves ahead, even though he took a pretty nice hip toss right there. Beautiful drop kick there from Gemini. What have the Hound Dogs trying to go for the cover here. One. It's going to take a little bit more than that, gentlemen, to put the mastermind down for the three count. I think the problem is he's going to have a hard time hooking that leg because you can see the mastermind, he is just stock, stocky as anything. Look at this, the Hound Dog coming in as Gemini now going over the top rope. Beautiful athleticism here, but he ends up getting caught with that huge clothesline from the Mastermind. That athleticism just would not be enough against the intelligence of the Mastermind. Go for the cover here. One, two. Oh, a little bit of a slow count there by the referee. But that's all right. The Mastermind, he's got it under control right now. Look at it. Look at that mode. Working on that left hand. Looking on that left elbow. Just putting the bone right into the mat. Well, if there's one thing that really uh, speaks to the class of the mastermind, it is that word control. He wants to control this matchup. He wants to control the championship divisions here in WWN Proving Grounds. He's looking to rise his way up the ranks, and it starts tonight. He's already doing a fantastic job here right now of exerting his game plan. You saw it earlier. He was tapping his head. He's got the game plan going. And right now he's in full control. He's in the driver's seat. I don't think that Damian Gemini could honestly come out of this. But he's going to have to show something. He's going to have to dig deep in order to do it. Well, if there's one thing we know about Damian Gemini, it is the heart. It is the determination of this young athlete. Oh, this is one of the best right here. He's been working on the shoulders, Sky, ever since he's gotten into proving ground. He's been separating shoulders. He's been stretching ligaments all over the place on David Jim and I. You're absolutely correct about that one, and it's paying dividends for him here tonight as the mastermind fully once again remaining in control. Gemini trying, now making his way back to the vertical base. Battling back here, but the mastermind knows just how to try and Take down that athleticism. Can he do it? Up and... Oh, look at this. Oh! Spiking him directly into the mat with that DDT. He used all of that momentum in order to be able to deliver that DDT. And now everybody here at the WWN Arena is fully behind the Hound Dog. And how could you not be, Kirby? The incredible athleticism out of these two men, but especially the Hound Dog. It's paying dividends for him here tonight. Well, I'm telling you, I'm not cheering for him. I got money on this match, and I got money right there for the mastermind. Oh, he's coming for the cover. He better kick out of this. Yeah. Only a two count there. We've seen a lot of money here tonight, but that money just definitely attempted the cover. Has to stay on top of him here, though, gentlemen. I got to give credit to Gemini. He's got a lot of guts in there, keeping in this match with the mastermind. Very smart plan there to use the ring to his advantage as he pulled on the tights. Now the mastermind, look at this. He's got him up for a suplex, but unable to connect with anything here. Lifting him up, look at the power. Trying to go for that DDT once again, holding on to it, though, is the mastermind. No, he's sitting into it, the guillotine. Yeah! Oh my god! Look at the power! Rolling over in. I thought he was going for the cover, trying to maintain that guillotine position. Oh no, look at this, gentlemen. This could be very destructive right here. Ooh, power bomb from the mastermind. Two, three, and that's it. <laughs> All right, one for one for old Vic Slohan. A fantastic victory on the evening for the mastermind, Jay Sky. And Kirby, one would have to think, Jay Sky is feeling very, very good about his place right now in WWN Proving Grounds. Well, it's no accident that they call him the mastermind, but I got to know, Vic, how much money did you win off of this match? I'm not going to tell you that. Fair enough.
Are you kidding me? See Nova out here on the outside, but behind Benji, who, who the hell is that? Benji Neptune needs to turn around. This is what it's all. Oh. <laughs> Benji time is ending again. This guy just never gets it. Just never stops trying to be a fly in the ointment of Captain Aaron Nova. And every time out, Aaron Nova gets the upper hand. <laughs> but, but who is this that we see attacking Benji Neptune in this ring? Wait, oh my. It looks like he's just driving that claw right into the jaw of Benji. And it very much looks like Benji time could very well be over as Aaron Nova is in the corner. He's setting up for something huge and it looks like we have a new monster in the administration. Oh, look at that right hand by the captain. Amazing. That was payback. Absolutely devastating here for Benji Neptune. And it doesn't seem like they're done right now, Kirby. Wait a minute. Oh, we got Tito Torres and the Cowboy Kid coming in there. I don't know if they're going to be able to stop this monster. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to get to the bottom of this. It's a broadcast journalist and an awesome one. I will get to the bottom of who this gentleman is. We're just lucky that the Cowboy Kid just came out to help over here for Benji. As we know, we see them help him up. That injured arm has got to have more damage, and it could possibly keep Benji away for even longer. That has to be in the back of the mind of Benji Neptune right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to WWNLive.com for more updates on Benji Neptune and his, his, his medical status. Man, Captain Aaron Nova does it again. Benji Neptune, man. I'm really sorry what happened to your arm, whatever happened to your arm. And I really hate to make it worse, but you just gotta understand, you're, you're never gonna be the WWN Cruiserweight Champion. You're never gonna get a match. And next week, the gauntlet continues, Benji. But I won't say against who. You'll have to tune in like everybody else. Now get out of here, you're dismissed, go.
time for games here on WWN Proving Grounds for this young competitor as he is looking to get the one-up on his competitor tonight, Kirby. I'm very excited to see this man in action. I have heard waves through all the United States for the natural 20. And you're right, he doesn't play any games. He is the medieval one, and he is here with Captain Aaron Nova to represent the administration. considers himself to be the answers to this crowd's prayers because tonight he is looking to end the speaking, end the competition of Drake Xavier. The words that Drake Xavier has been using to, to run down the entire WN roster. He's tired of it. He's tired of the disrespect. Well, he could look for it, but he's going to look for a long, long time. This is Aaron Nova's, one of his newest acquisitions. And I got to tell you something, gentlemen. I gotta give you a little inside secret from Vic Slohan. Everybody wants to join Aaron Nova right now. They all want to be in his stable. They all want to be winners. And the only way you're going to be a winner is to have, to have that gentleman right there with the cap outside the ring. This clash of style is going to be very interesting to see because we know that Tito Torres is known as the answer, but Drake Xavier likes to stay ahead of the game. He likes to always one-up all the competition. So how do you exactly one-up the answer to the question? Well, that's a fantastic qu question yourself, Kirby. Sometimes you have to change the question if you want to one-up the answer. Does Drake Xavier have that ability here tonight? Oh, absolutely. Drake Xavier. Oh. oh. Took a nasty drop kick right there, but he's got things under control against the answer. You'll see. A beautiful arm drag there from Tito Torres. If you can control that left shoulder, you can control the entire body of your competitor. And that is exactly what he plans to do tonight against Drake Xavier. I know the answer, Tito Torres, has been returning here to Proving Ground. He has an incredible aerial background, a lot of aerial moves. But lately, I haven't seen him kind of put more basic maneuvers in his repertoire. We could very well be looking at a future Cruiserweight Champion here in the WWN Training Center. As right now, Drake Xavier able to counter that Irish whip into the corner. But look at this, the answer gets caught. And now Xavier with rolled a 20 on the wisdom roll there. Absolutely beautiful. Going for that cover. All right, it's a little early, it's a little early. But like I said, the captain right there, he's got things under control. Drake Xavier's got things under control. And this whole thing is just growing. You saw Benji, he got attacked. Everyone's getting attacked right now by Aaron Nova. Drake Xavier doing a phenomenal job of keeping Tito Torres at bay, but it very well could be momentarily. Repeated strikes here from Tito Torres. Now off the ropes goes this man. Oh. Eats a spinning back elbow. I believe, That's, I believe Drake Xavier might have caught him directly in the throat there. You notice him grasping at the trachea. Now it goes right for that midsection. Oh nice suplex. Beautiful form there from Drake Xavier into that gut wrench throw as now it looks like Xavier just going for a nonchalant cover here. Able to get a two count, but off the middle of the out, the moonsault gets countered. That didn't exactly go the way I thought it would have gone. The answer right now, grasping for air, I definitely see that. This could be the turning point in this matchup, which Tito Torres needed. Oh. Close line from Tito Torres. Elbow strike once again. Drake Xavier, he's got to do something to try and combat this if he wants to walk away with a victory. Torres now going for the cover, hooking the outer leg. Only a two count there, says our official. I mean, he's not a seven-year veteran for no reason. Is Drake Xavier as he takes on Tito Torres here tonight. And both men are impressing me here tonight as all the rankings here in the WWE Training Center are shuffling around. Oh, look at that rake to the eyes there. Absolutely despicable from Drake Xavier. Go over the clothesline. Look at the speed of Tito Torres. Oh, big reverse DDT. The cover. Two. No. 
Oh, Xavier cannot match speed for speed, for speed with the answer right now. He's got to get out of the ring. He's got to get some, get some time together with Aaron Nova and come up with a new game plan. Try to ground Tico Torres. What is he saying out there in the ring? Well, he's proclaiming he came here to win. He came here to dominate these championship divisions. Off the ropes now. Going for it. What is this? The Big winner offense. gets countered. And now Xavier able to get the upper hand once again. And oh my god, that cannonball immediately transitions here. Xavier is just showing exactly what he's got. Oh. Good God, extra spice on that one. Go with the cover and a three kill. What a beautiful win. Another beautiful win for no the Nova Alliance right there with Aaron Nova and Drake Xavier. It's gonna be a beautiful night tonight, gentlemen. An incredible pile driver there from Drake Xavier that honestly, I haven't seen that form of power delivered from that kind of maneuver before. I am definitely impressed what Xavier brought to the table here today. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to check out Club WWN, subscribe, $9.99 a month if you're not already watching this on our lovely service, WWNlive.com. our feet here in front of us. I actually have the feet on my phone right now. I'm watching this from the Only Camps view. Everybody should be watching this right here from the Only Camps view. Or you can be watching it live on Club WWN, WWNlive.com. Cameron Stewart and Tyler Uriah, two very conflicting personalities to say the least, Vic. Absolutely, but they make an incredible tag team in there. And just look at the beauty of Cameron Stewart. I'm just Kid Andrew Mitchell seems to have infuriated Cameron Stewart, interrupting his photo shoot tonight, gentlemen. to come out together. That's how, that's how awesome of a tag team you got right here. The Cowboy Kid. Who is that? Perez? Ares Perez? Ares Perez, indeed. Yes, I've seen a little bit. Uh, who's to know if Cowboy Kid and Ares Perez are truly uh, in unity tonight? I, one group, I can tell you, seems to be in unity on this evening, that being the Nova administration. Aaron Nova, we've seen him all throughout the night, and his, his clientele, if you will, has been very successful on the evening. 
Oh, it's been incredibly successful. It's been incredibly successful for a long, long time here on Proving Ground. As you can see in every episode, I'll tell you a little something about this cowboy kid. He, uh, He's gone through a trial by fire. He, uh, his first time out, he actually was part of a handicap match against Proving Ground champion Jonathan Hudson. Got destroyed within about a minute. And the last time out, he was in the Rumble match. He lasted about eh, two, three minutes. So he's getting a little better, you know. Every single experience always makes you better. But you also have to keep in mind, this kid is only 18 years old. That, that is a long time that he still has to even reach his prime. And he, if he's already this good now, imagine what he's going to be like in just a few years. Some may even call him a prodigy. How dare Perez mess up with that beautiful pink shirt of Stewart. Look at this, the speed of Perez fully on display. And we are starting off this matchup hot and heavy with Aris Perez, who has flattened Cameron oh. Stewart. Stewart better get out of there. He needs to protect those follicles, his skin pores. I mean, just the man is just in trouble already. Now making the tag, the Cowboy Kid. Mr. Mitchell is legal in this matchup. And you hit the nail right on the head earlier on, Kirby. This man very much considered to be an in-ring prodigy everywhere that he's been. He's achieving the boyhood dream. He's chasing the dream of professional wrestling. He was on the horse farms. He was riding bulls in the entire time. All he wanted to do was compete in in-ring competition. He's doing that right here tonight. And it looks like he's taking it to the administration. As look at the hip toss from the Cowboy Kid, now showing off his athleticism. Beautiful drop kick there to the face of Tyler Uriah. I have never seen that out of the Cowboy Kid. This is something new. Oh, he, come on, Stuart, you need to get out of the corner. You need to put some more moisturizer on there. Out of the corner goes the Cowboy oh. Kid. What a collision. And pulling Cameron Stewart out of the way, the Cowboy Kid. Just crashed and burned there in the corner. Now Tyler Uriah makes his way into the ring right now. And there it looks like they're about to teach the Cowboy Kid a lesson. As you said earlier, so and it's trial by fire. And whenever you're in there against the administration, it is definitely trial by fire. Look at him just cutting that ring off. Some good quick tags. Gentlemen, this is what tag team wrestling is all about. Kirby, I gotta ask you, as, as our resident analyst, what is a strategy that you would employ if you are the Cowboy Kid, if you are down in your opposing corner? You have to find an opening in order for the ring to not be cut in half anymore. That is the one thing that the administration is excelling at right now. As you can see, the frequent tags, they're not letting him even cross the halfway point of the ring. The Cowboy Kid has to find a small opening and not get hit by double drop kicks like that to get the tag. The cover here now for Araya. Two, and you notice the Cowboy Kid dang near sliding out from underneath his opposition. Nevertheless, he kept down in this weird chin lock being applied now by Tyler Araya. Definitely, definitely one of the larger competitors in this matchup pick. That's right, Araya was keeping him on the ground with that chin lock. Of course, just as I said something, the Cowboy Kid able to muster up a jawbreaker trying to get to that corner, but no way. Not happening now. He was just fingertips away from getting the tag there to Eris. But now we get another tag here as Cameron Stewart is the one legal man inside the ring. Cameron Stewart's about to teach the Cowboy Kid a lesson. You don't drop kick him in the teeth. Lifting him up now. Cowboy Kid landing on his feet. The tag has been made. Eris Perez is in. Eris Perez is in. And he's cleaning house here tonight. I don't know much about this guy, but so far he is a house of fire. Strikes to Cameron Stewart and repeating. Titus Perez is definitely showing everything he's got here today after being on the outside of the ring for a majority of this matchup thus far. Now he is just laying it into Cameron Stewart. Beautiful clothesline there, impactful as all could be. Lifting him up now, Cameron Stewart up and down. One, two, no. Time for Stewart to be able to turn this around. He can do it along with Uriah. But I tell you, this presence came out of nowhere. I didn't like that little uh, tacky thing he was wearing going into the ring. Oh, that super kick drilled at Espedez, but he fell right into the tag. As the Cowboy Kid is now the legal man, here comes Stewart with that Enzigiri as he may have caught the kid, and this could be it. It's gonna take a little bit more than that if you want to put the Cowboy Kid down. This man has a heart of gold, an uninterruptible un will. 
that is how you can describe the Cowboy Kid. This man is consistently trying to prove himself. It's what brings him to the proving ground today. Except now look at Stewart. Now he's got him right where he wants him. I think he's got all the energy out of the Cowboy Kid. It's time to take this thing down, take the win, and go celebrate afterwards. I wonder if he's going to stream that to his only camps. I'll definitely be waiting for that link to be put out. There's potential for that. Subscribing to the only camps will get you that, Kirby. One individual who subscribes to the only camps, that being Tyler Araya, who's the legal man up and down, spine on the pine. The enforcer just planting down the cowboy kid in the center of the ring and now driving that elbow into Perez's face. We know that he's all about the no nonsense here for the Alliance as now we get a tag here and Cam Stewart is the legal man. The Nova administration, we spoke about it earlier, gentlemen. These men are proving something tonight. WWN! Oh. Unbelievable, it's a good night, Cowboy Kid. Fantastic victory for Tyler Araya and Cameron Stewart. And you have to know that the subscriptions to Only Camp are going to be popping off tonight, Kirby. I'm glad that I signed up early. It's like a stock. It just keeps rising. What are, you, what are you two talking about? individual who he was faced here before on WWF Proving Ground. In fact, the past two weeks, this is a series of matches where both men truly trying to prove something to one another, trying to get the better of their opponent. Mr. Steven Frick's going to be taking on Andy Mack. Show is here live in Port Ritchie, Florida. And Kirby, I know that you have had your eyes set on this competitor all day. Absolutely. Andy Mack has been impressing me thus far over the last few weeks. And, you know, the record books will show that he is 0-2 against Mr. Steven Frick. But look at this. Mr. Steven Frick was not even waiting for the bell to ring. This match is no disqualifications, but it hasn't even started yet. Now it has. This is unbelievable. This is pure hate right here. These two have been wanting to tear each other apart for weeks now. In fact, earlier this week, I tried to talk with Mr. Stephen Frick about the situation. And he had a pipe and basically bashed his head in the whole time. Then he bashed in his truck and then he chased after me. And Vic Slohan wants no part of that. Well, Vic, I can imagine that that was a very frightening situation for you. And I give you my best. But nevertheless, this matchup rolls on and no disqualification affair as Andy Mack is just laying in these shots right now on Mr. Stephen Frick. 
Well, Mr. Steven Frank used to be a fan favorite here in the WWN Training Center. As we see this cover here, big kick out from Mr. Steven Frick. But something happened along the way where he just became completely unhinged. And this is the Steven Frick that we see here in front of us now. Or for some people, Kirby, a lack of success and a lack of victory, a lack of positivity in your life can drive you to do terrible and deranged things. We're seeing that out of Mr. Steven Frick now. This is the fruition of all of that experience he has had. Oh, oh look my at that. God. He just baked Andy, Andy Max head right there with that front, with that little cooking pan. I'll tell you, Frick, I am very happy about his psychological change. He is just more devastating, more devious than ever. Vic, I gotta be honest with you, this seems exactly like someone who would be right up your alley. Oh, absolutely. But he actually doesn't want a manager right now. He just wants to go in and tear people up. And Andy Mack has been his number one goal now for a long time. Well, Mr. Stephen Frick currently sitting at 0-2 in this year rivalry is... Wait, what a minute, just driving that directly into the skull. I believe it's that sandpaper, gentlemen. I believe it is. Well, it is no disqualifications. Anything goes here. We've got to imagine that medical personnel are on standby in case we do have any kind of injuries here in this matchup. And I believe that's the kind of thing that Mr. Stephen Frick wants to do here. He doesn't care about winning. He just wants to cause damage and ensure that Andy Mack ends up in a hospital somehow here tonight. The last time that these two competed, Andy Mack defeated Mr. Stephen Frick with a roll-up victory. Very shocking victory at that. Last week, these two were in the rumble. They had a shot at going to the top, but decided to take themselves out instead and fought all the way to the back. It was insane. That big boot seems to have leveled Andy Mack as he falls off the top turnbuckle. And now Mr. Steven Frick is back in control here. What other kind of demented plan does this man have in his head in order to inflict punishment on Andy? Oh, you'll see, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, one thing can be said about both of these two competitors, and that is that they have absolute disdain for one another. These two men do not like or respect each other. They, they don't even share the same locker room. But... Oh, my God! Are they, are they, are they both breathing right now? Andy Mack just rolled to the bottom of the ring as they, are, they were fighting on the outside. I don't think Mr. Stephen Frick knows where he, Andy Mack even went. Oh, look at this. From the other side of the ring, Andy Mack now gonna go for the outside with a tope suicida. Unbelievable, these two, they will throw their own careers away just to get at each other. Beautiful dive to the outside and incredibly effective in nature. Mr. Steven Frick, he is on wobbly legs here trying to find a vertical base. You know, I'm not a big fan of the star of the show, but I gotta, I gotta give credit where credit is due. This guy is just ultra, Ultra aggressive right now, just putting the fist over to Stephen Frick. Well, the star of the show is well aware of what show this is. WWN Proving Ground is Andy Max home, and he is looking to take out the trash here in Mr. Stephen Frick. Oh! This is the first time in a really forever I've seen Mr. Frick in this much Cover. pain. Only a two count here, gentlemen. This match is proving to be just as brutal as advertised as Andy Mack right now in the corner. The star of the show, possibly looking for a star making performance, but Mr. Stephen Frick has other plans. All right, look at that. See that look right there by Mr. Frick. That's the look I'm talking about. That's that change in his personality, that unhingement that you said, Curry. He's getting that gleam in his eyes and exiting the ringside here tonight. This no disqualification matchup is still in effect. In fact, I don't even think you need a referee. Just let them just beat each other up. Frick now with the chair, driving it directly into the gut of Andy Mack. Here's those screams of pain by the star of the show, who probably doesn't want to be called that right now because his star is about to wane. Back now, reversing out of it, up and down. Going for the cover here, one, two, three. Unbelievable upset win. <laughs> Well, 
beautiful victory here on the night for Andy Mack. Destructive in nature. These two men will not walk out the same after this encounter. Absolutely incredible performance there from the star of the show, Andy Mack, as he improves his record to 3-0 against Mr. Stephen Frick. As you can see now, Mr. Stephen Frick is starting to come to in the ring. I don't think he even knows where he's at. After every single matchup that these two men have, Mr. Stephen Frick only becomes more and more demented, only more and more... Oh, yeah. He's head now. I'm not sure what's going to happen with him. I'm really worried about him psychologically and physically, gentlemen. I am really worried about Mr. Stephen Frick. Michael James sitting here with Andy Mack. Andy Mack victorious tonight against Mr. Stephen Frick. What's next? for the start of the show. Closing night sure was great, wasn't it? I mean, what a spectacular, what a monster flick. Andy Matt takes on Stephen Frick, and unlike a furious tibble, Stephen Frick was not victorious against Andy Mack. And I am on to bigger and better. See, what I'm thinking next is, Andy Mack in a championship spectacular. See, I've got my eyes on a few things. I'm thinking, maybe, oh, no. down to ringside here on the evening. Kirby, I know that you had an opportunity to speak with both members of RB Unique earlier before their matchup. I am very excited to see how they do things here because you can see them right here. Their style may be dysfunctional, but these two describe themselves as El Caballero and El Callejero, which translates to the gentleman and the street fighter. I'm very excited to see how they perform here in the tag team division here in WWE. Hell of an athlete. We're going to be seeing this man take on the members of RB Unique tonight alongside his tag team partner. Now, they are former ACW tag team champions here, which, you know, begs the question, wouldn't you assume that they'd come out together? They have that camaraderie from, from before. Gentlemen, uh, 
waiting for the announcement here, but there was a little bit of a problem in last week's Rumble. Um, there was a miscommunication between Delgado and Quinones. That cut me off, Michael James. Of course you would do that. But yeah, there seemed to be some sort of dysfunction. I thought they hashed it out. The Dominican powerhouse making us wait, but nevertheless, this man is worth the wait entirely. This powerhouse is ready for war tonight against Darby Unique. We were mentioning about the, uh, the differences in RB Unique, but I'll tell you, they've been having a very successful run here on Proving Ground. They won the Tag, uh, the tag Royal, uh, excuse me, the Tag Battle Royale, excuse me, as they went after the set for the Tag Team Championships. They almost won it, so they got a taste, a taste of the, the uh, success that they could have rising up the ladder here. All right, the bell has sounded. This match is underway. Nick Quinones standing one on one against his opponent here tonight. Delgado looks really enthused in that corner now, doesn't he? It's definitely a different demeanor than I'm used to seeing from Rafael. We always talk about the Platano power, which usually means the Dominicans over from baseball, but he's proving that that could be coming from, you know, into other sports other than just baseball. I spoke a little bit with Rafael Delgado in the back, and he did tell me that his goal here in professional wrestling, especially in WWE Unproving Ground, is to put the Dominican Republic on the map in professional wrestling. So just as you said, Kirby, Platano power, definitely full effect here tonight. Platano, not Platano. Uh, I, I was going to say potato, but wh whatever. But you're right, these two gentlemen, they've reached the heights of Proving Ground. They've been the tag champions. And I would say in a match like this, they would have the strength, the size, and the experience factor over RB Unique. However, are they as cohesive this, on this uh, outing? Like we've seen them be cohesive in the past, as you mentioned, former ACW Tag Team Champions. But you're correct about that. This specific outing seems to be different than the rest. And Rafael Delgado has said in times previously, he believes that it's time for a change. He feels that it's time for him to level up, to make it to that next step. You might be correct on that. Oh, oh my God. There's that power fully on display, as now it looks like that was a forceful tag for Quinones, as now he is the legal man into the cover here, Walker. Cover now, two. Only a two count there, and forceful very well might just be an understatement here, Kirby. Uh, quite a disrespectful tag, if you're asking me. Nevertheless, snap air kick right to the back. And for the front, hit him on every direction. The cover here, look at that inner leg. Two count once again. Tell you, RB Unique needs, needs to take the advantage in this situation. There's obviously something going on between these two gentlemen, and they just need to take the advantage and get the win. We saw it here. Quinones was reaching out for the tag, but Delgado was actually just pulling his head back slowly, almost as if just mocking the tag. Maybe that miscommunication from last week is starting to play dividends here today, as now we see a tag. And RB Unique, both men are now in the ring here. And here comes the tag team prowess of this team. Uh, what could we be looking for here? Double back elbow there from RB Unique. Oh, I like this move right here. These gentlemen got this right down. Go for the cover now once again. One, two. That's okay. You got to keep on top of them. Look at it, trying to get the trying to get the Port Ritchie crowd into this thing. You don't need the Port Ritchie crowd chip clapping and cheering and yelling and screaming. Don't need to hear any of those voices. Now we talk about Quinones and Delgado trying to bring that Dominican the Dominican prowess here into the WWN. But let's talk about RB Unique for a second. These two gentlemen are from Chile in South America. That is a whole different side of the Dominican Republic. It's actually even further south. You've got to imagine that they are looking to bring Chile to the forefront, just like the other team is trying to bring the Dominican Republic to the forefront. These men fight for their country. They fight for the people whom they represent. But which one will walk out with the victory? Which team, which group here? Oh, strike right to the midsection of Quinones. Cutting them off right there, but 
again, Kuno has got a lot of strength. They have to keep on the two-on-ones. They have to keep the double team and to keep them in that, that side of the ring. Tripping up Quinones now. You gotta stay on top of a competitor like Quinones. We talked about him being an Army veteran. This man is war-tested. He is battle-born. Now off the ropes. Oh, big uppercut now going for the cover. One, two. It's gonna take a little bit more than that if you want to put Nick away. But if they got more of it in their arsenal, they are gonna win this match. They are in control right now. Back. Here we go, get that, make that quick tag. Uh-oh, looks like we have a little bit of a problem here. Delgado, I think he got something in his eye. He's gonna have to get checked, maybe get it flushed out. I, I understand his situation. Wait, what is Rafael Delgado? He's just transitioned to a different corner. He can't make the tag there. Meanwhile, Quinones. Uh, maybe he's calling an audible. Maybe we can switch corners, you know? Big spin out face buster there, going for the cover once again. One, two. It's not gonna be enough here, gentlemen. RB unique, there you go, keep on it. Keep the advantage going, you, got, you guys are very close to victory. Just keep away from Delgado at any cost. Quinones with the power advantage and putting that on display right now, go over the tag to Delgado. Oh, I, I think something was wrong with his elbow. He's gotta, he's gotta have to go get that checked out now. I, I'll tell you, Delgado's been through a lot in this match. It's been very punishing. This would be a signature win for RB Unique, but you've got to imagine that this is not the way that they would want it over former tag team champions as a beautiful suplex there connects. I'll take a win however you can get it. And right now, there we go, that awesome tagging. And what's Delgado doing now? Oh, he's... I think he's got to go get a, get a water. Rafael Delgado is just completely left this match of exiting to, uh, to the locker rooms now, and meanwhile, leaving Nick Quinones out to fend for his life by himself, Kirby. This is now turned into what looks like a handicap match. I'm not exactly sure where Delgado went to, as now RB Unique has a very unique opportunity here to capture a victory, but again, I gotta say again, it's probably not the way that they wanted to climb up the ranks for the tag team division. I think Delgado's just taking a break. He'll he'll be back. Double leg takedown here for Quinones. Rolling through though into the full mount and strikes. And Nick Quinones, he's not feeling good right now, Kirby. Absolutely not. He has needed a tag for a while. The exhaustion might be setting in now as he is getting double teamed by both members of RB Unique. He's got him up. Look at this tag team cohesion with a Hurricane Rana. I'm telling you, this is what I saw early on from this team a few weeks ago, and they definitely have the chops to make it to the top of Proving Ground. Look at the height on that one. And that's the end of this matchup. Well, what a victory from RB Unique on this evening. But, uh, gentlemen, what's to come between Nick Quinones and Rafael Delgado? That's definitely going to be the question here that we've got to be asking between both of these guys. We saw the problems last week in the Rumble, and now they may be former tag team partners. All I know is Army Unique gets another win. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, Vega TV is here live in Port Ritchie, Florida. WWE Unproving Ground continues on with more professional wrestling action. And Kirby, one thing I got to tell you, this is three eclectic individuals that are sharing the ring at this moment. I think eclectic is the, pe the perfect word to describe this trio right now as we're getting for six-man tag action. put a VIP rope around ringside so that way we can separate, you know, the nice velvet rope, separate the VIPs from the common folk of Port Ritchie, Florida. You might want to take that one to WWN management, but nevertheless. Oh, WWN management does not like me, I'll tell you that. Well, that doesn't surprise me whatsoever, Vic, I gotta be honest with you. The bell is sounded, we are starting this matchup off. Kirby, what are your thoughts? I think Blake Banks starting this matchup is definitely going to be interesting here. As right now we see him get that headlock here in the center of the ring. And the Miami boys already off to a bad start here. Yeah, the side headlock applied currently. I tell you, I love this Blake Banks kid. I mean, he is just full of amazing financial knowledge, not just from his father, but from himself. Did you see the Porsche that's outside, by the way? Oh, I, I didn't personally, but I heard that they were there. That, that's not Vic Lohan's car. That's this gentleman's right here. Blake Banks now off the ropes goes Banks. Continuously so underneath the legs of his opponent, a drop kick. Hitting Banks square in the jaw. A shot like that, Kirby, can easily throw off your equilibrium to any extent. Absolutely, but now we're here, we see the tag to Vega TV. Now the legal man for the eclectic trio, as you mentioned earlier. As they now seem to be getting off to a, a, a bad continuation. They start off good, but now they are just getting caught over and over again. Oh! Beautiful scoop slam there, going for the cover once again. No, not enough to end this matchup. I think they're going to have to resort to choking and, and just kicking low and stuff because I had to tell you, these men, these Miami boys right here, they're very cohesive. I mean, they're always training together, always partying together, always wrestling together. Well, the tag for the Miami boys. We're going to see if it pays dividends here tonight. Trying to go over the cover once again on Vega TV. The only thing I don't appreciate is that Keith is up here stealing some of my commentary time. You know, Vic Slohan should be here all the time and not let that gentleman in the booth. Now, both of the Miami boys up and down. Body meets canvas here tonight. And we talked about the frequent tags earlier becoming a big factor in a tag team matchup, and that's gonna become a bigger factor here in a six-man tag match, as now awesome Adam Vale is the legal man here. See these tags all throughout this matchup. We're only gonna see more as this match goes on. These are two experienced trios teams. Double drop kick to both of these competitors. Awesome, Adam Vale, who's actually been doing singles for a little while, wasn't tag teams. Tonight, he's back in six man, and it's just right now taking a lot of punishment. You know, sometimes you can take singles competitors and you put them all in the same ring to tag alongside each other and truly find harmony and unity within these teams, within the magic in the match. Well, so far, this match is going about as one-sided as our college football championship, I'll tell you that, gentlemen. There we go. Puma now getting caught over and over again, but finally able to get that boot up. As now Vega TV hops in, but he also gets caught as well. Puma of the Miami boys. Puma, what's he looking for here on the middle rope? Thanks now catching his veil. Looks like he was setting him up for something here. Exploder suplex. 
I like how Vail adjusted that. He didn't have him at first, but he was able to keep him foot, foot to foot and then send him right on over. And that just goes to speak to the in-ring abilities of Vail, but nevertheless, is it going to be enough to end this matchup? There you go, a lot of choking. That's right, keep him in the corner. Don't, don't mind, use a little tag rope if you got a choke. Just you know, make sure the ref doesn't see it. Tag's been made, Vega TV legal once again. Puma in a precarious position here right now. Yeah, they're trying to isolate Puma very well. I gotta tell you, gentlemen, I don't get Vega TV on my television. Do you guys have that anywhere on yours? Oh, Kirby? I'm taking a look here through my provider, and I don't believe so, but he is here right now in the WWN Training Center doing a fantastic job of keeping the Miami boys away from each other. I've actually been told Vega TV is a bit of an exclusive channel. Oh, oh, my mom told me about those. But anyways, I very much enjoy seeing him cut down Puma in that side of the ring. Keeping on that carotid artery down there into the thorax. Uh oh, now it's time for that tag, Vega. This exchange here tonight between Vega TV and Puma. Oh, oh, and a curb stomp right to the back of the skull, driving the skull directly into the canvas. The tag has been made once again. Nice shot right to the back of the ribs. That's a lot of oxygen leaving the body all at once. Yeah, most definitely, Vic. Look at this, the eclectic trio now connecting with simultaneous punches as now we see Puma in a lot of trouble. Adam Vale trying to come back, or I'm sorry, Puma trying to come back here. Now Walker, do you think he can get it done? Well, and there's potential for anything here in WWE on Proving Ground. I think that the ability is there, but the execution has to be present as well. Beautiful neck breaker, Puma and Vale are both down. It took, a, it took a lot out of Puma to do that. Excuse me, Vic. Oh, that's quite all right. I'm not sure Puma has enough energy to get to that corner, though. Vail, he needs to pick it up if he wants to continue to have the advantage of this match. Puma and Vail will try to make it to the friendly corner, if you will. Tag's been made on both sides of the ring. Oh, and Keith. Oh, beautiful leg lariat there from Keith. He's fired up here tonight. I'll tell you, Keith has some of the best legs and length oriented outfits in Proving Ground. This guy is just a house of fire. Banks better be careful. The crossbody into the cover. One, two. Vega TV sticking his nose where the official believes it doesn't belong for the time being. I've got to say that I believe it definitely belongs because he just saved his matchup for his team here. It's now Keith able to break it up here. Middle row for Banks. The rope in Gary, the cover. One, two. Hey, what's going on here? Then he's not supposed to be in the ring. I didn't see a tag on that. And this matchup is breaking down quickly. The cutter. Puma now, single knee face breaker. Vegas down. Puma and Vale in the ring alone. I wonder if the ref knows who's the legal men are in the ring right now. It's absolute chaos. I don't believe I'm even, I even know who it is. Keith is fired up here tonight. Up and over goes Keith. Banks now going for a strike and a strike of his own from Keith. Oh, he's got a Nike symbol right on the side of his head. To the top rope goes baby Keith. What goes up must come down. High angle sent on ball. The cover, two, three, and that's it. Well, gentlemen, Cohesion wins out in this one, and the Miami boys take this win home. The Miami boys picking up a phenomenal victory here tonight, truly setting the stage on the proving ground, and I cannot wait to see what's in store next for the Miami boys, Kirby. It's going to be definitely something bright in their future as the trio of Malachi, Puma, and Baby Keith walk away here once again with a victory.
love like this. What about your pants? <laughs> Together are here live in Port Ritchie, Florida. I know that you have had your eyes on these two talents for a long time. I love my tag team wrestling, and Better Together is one of the teams that is definitely impressing all over the United States. I hope to one day see them in Texas, but for right now, they are right here in Port Ritchie, Florida. And separate, they are good, but together, they are better. Oh, here comes my favorite part right here. Here we go, come on. Never goes along with it. There we go. Hey. Why are Explain to me the crazy boys. These are two, I mean, we talked about Eclectic in the last trios match, but these are two uh, strange individuals to say I, the least. And to be honest, I don't like these gentlemen. I mean, there's, there's one thing about getting admitted to an asylum or so, but John Strange and Christian Mills, they seem to just walk into asylum and just take the whole thing over. These guys, they're truly nuts, and they break all the rules and regulations. Listen, I'm all about bending the rules, but when you break the regulations, you are messing with the nougat of professional wrestling. And without that nougat, it is complete anarchy and chaos. And that's what these gentlemen are. Well, you can say that again, Vic. We've got to imagine that this matchup has got to have implications for the Tag Team Championships, the ACW Tag Team Championships, to be clear, as here we see Hedar starting against Christian Mills, the center of the Crazy Boys. Hedar Horowitz now off the ropes, goes. Meets him with the shoulder tackle. Beautiful athleticism from Hadar. I'll tell you, the key to this match for these gentlemen is the pre-match calisthenics. I mean, they have that down to a science. And look at that enthusiasm. These are all four incredibly accomplished individuals, but especially speaking about better together, two incredible singles competitors, as you said, Kirby, coming together with a mission of chasing tag team championship gold. However, one half of better together seems a little bit more interested in that concept than the other one. Definitely, that has been their dynamic thus far from what I have seen. As right now, look at this, Christian Mills trying to one up. Are you, Hadar. Are you kidding me? Now Mills passing him by. Oh, impactful shoulder tackle. Trying to match power for power with Hadar Horowitz. <laughs> what is Ori Gold was, was trying to take a, a couple of swings at Christian Mills here tonight. It's okay, he'll get his chance. Nice tag. Well, that chance has come upon us here today as Ori Gold, now your legal competitor. One thing about this, this insane boys here, these crazy boys, you know, they are crazy, they break all the regulations, but they are actually good professional wrestlers and very tough to be on the ground with. Uh, do you see this Ori Gold with these cartwheel? Oh. That, I, I was absolutely flabbergasted. That was incredible, Kirby. I've got to agree for sure. As that Christian Mills, the center, able to not only get that dropkick, but also a tag to his partner, the much bigger John Strange. Yeah, you want to talk about a clash between these two sizes. 
A comparison to be made, Hunt R. Now your legal man up and down. Big back body drop there for Big John Strange. The insane one, John Strange. And I'll tell you, I've seen this guy through, go through so many wars here on Proving Ground, all over the place. This is quite the veteran of the scene. No, I still don't like him. Hey, you want to talk about John Strange being an insane individual? Both of these men are crazy. All four of these competitors are crazy to be competing in a matchup like this. Oh, I, I, I want to say that could be a miscommunication, but I think it's part of the plan. That's how Better Together works. Especially Ori Gold attempting to motivate Adar Horowitz in some form or fashion. Look at this, they're game planning now as both of the men come inside the ring. Fingers interlocked and a close line block them. Beautiful maneuver there from John Strange. I was not expecting that out of the big man. Neither was I. Well, now Will Barrow double team maneuver now into the splash. Christian Mills the cover. But it was not enough. And this is where the question starts to come to the mind of people like John Strange and Christian Mills. When will it be enough? What is it going to take to put better together down? Well, going the route they're going, they're, they're certainly winning. But this is more like a marathon rather than a sprint in a match like this. And that's a great point that you bring up there. A match like this is definitely going to test your, it's going to test everything that you've got in the tank. Let's look at this. Better together. Able to bounce back, but still not enough. Oh, hot shot there from Ori Gold. Set him up there for a head. Gnar. Now, I suspect that the crazy boys here have been watching WWNlive.com and been studying all the moves of Better Together. I know Vince Lohan. I myself am a VIP on there. I've been watching Shine. I've been watching FIP. I've been listening to myself go to sleep. That's WWNlive.com. Ain't that right, Walker? Well, absolutely. I have to agree with you, Vic. WWNlive.com or Club WWN. You have to know Ori Cole is a member of that fantastic service. He's been studying up on Christian Mills. He's been studying up on John Strange. This. Oh, through double gut buster. With the arm trap into the drop kick. Cover now from Hadar Horvitz. Christian Mills has a lot of resiliency. He can take both guys take a lot of punishment. I've noticed that. I think the longer that this matchup goes on, the more frustrated you see John Strange becoming in the corner. He's anxious to make the tag. He believes in his abilities to put down better together, and potentially even by himself. Strange and Mills are definitely gelling well together, but maybe not good enough yet, as better together just seems to be that much better here today. Oh, oh. strike there. Ori Gold now flattened on the mat. Roll through and the tag. John Strange is in. Once again, in again. Nothing. Close lines all across the ring. Nothing scientific about this. This is just brute force by John Strange. Brute force indeed. The cover now. No. Ori Gold. I, again? Uh, they better be careful. The insane one right now has got plans for both of them. Possibly a miscommunication here by Better Together that could be costing them here. As now Strange has got Ori Gold up! And he planted him down. Open the tag, Christian Mills now legal. John Strange, this is not something you want to be on the other side of. Christian Mills coming in with the elbow drop. Well, something's wrong with the knee, he goes for the cover. Two count once again, but you're, you're correct about that, Vic. You see he's, he's grasping at that right leg, the right knee. Unfortunately, though, no tag and better together. I tell you, these guys, they work great as a tandem, but it seems like when you put them in a single situation in the match, they kind of fall apart. That knee could be in a lot of trouble. You saw it here right now. Mills was trying to get up for a suplex, but he wasn't able to do so, and he crumbled under the pressure. Running shot block there for Maury Gold. John Strange up and over. This is the time for Better Together. It's time to get that cohesion in there and take that win, because they're not far away from another shot at the Tag Championship. If there ever was an opportunity, that opportunity is being seen right now as Hadar and Ori. Up and down. And that's it. Well, back to the infirmary for these two.
you guys. They can actually play Silent Hill as they reminisce as to why they did not win this match against Better Together. <laughs> Well, the Asylum is missing two patients. And somebody needs to make a call about that. But nevertheless, better together, Ori Gold and Hadar Horvitz pick up another fantastic victory, Kirby. I definitely love what I saw here from Better Together. They took advantage of a situation that injured knee may have torn ligaments inside of it now after that vicious attack that resulted in a submission victory. They didn't even need their flapjack double, double maneuver that they have employed on so many teams before. Not at all. But something tells me this is not going to be the last that we see between these two teams, Kirby. <laughs> That was so easy. Oh my god. That was so easy. That must have been oh, the easiest match that we had in this company. We had like what? A dozen matches. Uh, two dozen, two dozen matches. And then this was by far the easiest thing we've ever done. We threw them out. Oh, did you see how I broke this kid's leg? Yeah, I just took his leg. Yeah, sure. Smash it out of there. So easy that I promise you that we can do the same thing. John Strange is in next safe. week and take them both out for good because I want to see their crazy faces here again. What? Oh, We're already one. You know what? Okay, you just cut it off. Okay, cut it off. Ah! Ah! Where are you going? Baby! Incorporated are here live in Port Ritchie, Florida, and they have come here tonight with a mission and a motivation, Kirby. Absolutely. We know that Rich Portayala has had his sights set on Jonathan Hudson and that heavyweight championship, and now we're going to see them mix it up here in the ring. But both of them do have forces behind them. Like this 
with a lot of confidence. Absolutely, you are the one, you are the champion. You are the heavyweight champion. But across the ring from you are the tag team champions. You've got to imagine that that's going to give them an advantage because this is a tag team match, although it is elimination style. It's definitely, and one thing to keep in mind as well, aligning yourself with the dirtiest man in professional wrestling, Dirty Devin Diaz, and a, a, a very strange individual in Scyther. You don't know the, the combustible elements in this matchup. How are they going to react with one another? Scyther is just ins insane. I can't stand the guy. I can't stand that team. i got to tell you something. I've heard about the news about what happened, about what happened to his partner getting attacked allegedly by the set incorporated. I think he tripped over a, pu a little puddle and hit his head on the side of a car or something. I think that's what happened. I don't think the set had anything to do with this attack. Of course, Chungus, who was previously scheduled to be involved in this main event elimination matchup, taken out of action with, with an attack by Set Incorporated, allegedly. Allegedly, that is the key word here. As the bell has rung here now, Walker, and we are seeing Scyther and Rich Portayala begin this matchup. Of course, gentlemen, I say this as long as everyone else has. Rich Portaiello, who started his career at Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan, right next to the Tokyo Dome. And you know what? I think I'm going to see him there in the not-too-distant future. This guy is on the way up. Most definitely. I can only agree with you there. The tag's been made in Dirty Devin Diaz, as well as Gus De La Vega. The legal men in this matchup, the first shot exchanged. And a shot to the chest, flattening that of Gus De La Vega. And one thing I want to examine right now, Kirby, with you, the power of Dirty Devin Diaz is not something that can be matched by many people involved in this match. Yeah, I've got to agree with you there, especially with his one year of experience here in the wrestling ring. Devin is just tossing people left and right. Two. Only a two count on that cover there, Kirby. And yes, you talked about uh, this is a young man's game, professional wrestling. This sport often does uh, find benefit with those of a younger age. De Dirty Devin Diaz is an individual who really believes he has what it takes to take WWE Improving Ground by storm. One individual who's has seemingly already done so, that being Scyther, your legal man. A former tag team champion here, along with Chungus, now finding that gold not around his waist, but rather across the waist of Set Inc. Well, it was up to me that Set Inc. would keep those belts for as long as they want. Mad Men at work would never be near those tag team belts ever again. Well, if you're asking Rich Poor Ayala, that is exactly how that is going to work. They will hold those championships for as long as they so desire. Cider's the house of fire here, the cover. Gonna take a little bit more than that. Put Gus De La Vega away. That's okay though. These guys are regrouping. They're a, a well-oiled team. They just they know each other so well. And once they get going, there's no stopping them. Or Ayala now. Shot to the chest from Scyther. And you know, Scyther has to have a little bit more frustration than you first might have imagined coming into this matchup with the alleged attack on Chungus dished out by Set Inc. A big attack on Chungus for that matter. As right now, Scyther, look at this. He is just taking it to Rich Portayala. This is personal for him. Well, at least Chungus looks a little better now than he did previously. There's Ayala, that blue chipper right there. Beautiful clothesline. Seven years of experience as a professional competitor. The matchup now on the line with the cover, only a two count. Now this is what they need to do. They need to have a divide and conquer strategy, especially since the other three don't team up regularly. And the, the idea is to get to Jonathan Hudson, is to get to the champion and break him down. You have to know that the goal is to wear down the heavyweight champion just shortly before the championship matchup. That was straight out of Brooklyn right there. Exactly, Francisco Chiazzo actually trained by the WCW power plant. This individual, a veteran in the ring. Uppercut there from Gus De La Vega. And Scyther, he looks to be in real trouble right now, Kirby. Definitely, those ropes are not made of any material that you want across your throat. And De La Vega is just making sure 
that it is getting driven. Now Ayala doing the exact same thing. De La Vega was wearing down Scyther. He knows exactly what he is setting up for. That being Port Rich Ayala's, Rich Port Ayala's, I'm sorry, Port Authority maneuver, which has ended championship reigns in the past. It's ended matches. Hell, it's even ended careers, Kirby. Cover here once more was not enough to end this matchup. You know, not only do I want Rich Port Ayala to win the Proving Ground title, I think this man is so great, they should change the name of Port Richie, Florida to Ayala Town. That's what I'm thinking. There he is, just squeezing the life out of this poor guy. I love it. The set right now, having everything in control, is make sure, keep this guy in the middle of the ring, make sure to get rid of Diaz when they can, which is gonna be a lot easier said than done. Said oh and God. done indeed, the cover being made to, no! Just, he just won't go. Now the interesting thing to point about this gentleman is the fact that no partners came in to try and break up that pinfall. This is elimination rules, so even if one person gets eliminated, the match will continue. It is not one fall. It's an important thing to keep in mind. Gusta Vago, and with the cover now on Francisco Schiazzo. No, that's it. <laughs> one down, two more to go. Oh, wait a minute, it's the champ. That might be it for Scyther. But Francisco Chiazzo better turn around. Oh. Aiding the discus punch. Two, three, and Chiazzo's out of there. And Jonathan Hudson now trying to prove exactly why he is the WWE Proving Grounds Heavyweight Champion. Big shotgun drop kick there. Tell you, that's experience right there from Gus De La Vega. He's one of the smoothest wrestlers I've seen in the squared circle. This guy can do it all. Kirby, this has to be the goal for Rich Port Ayala and for Gus De La Vega. We talk about cutting the ring in half all night. It does not ring truer than tonight in this main event matchup. That should be it. He's going to pin the champion right here on Proving Ground. This is it. No. Oh. I gotta tell you th something about this champion, Jonathan Hudson. He does not view matches like title defenses. He views them as conquests. He's like a challenger, even though he's the champion. He, he has just absolutely struck fear into whole proving ground, with the exception of Mr. Ayala, of course. And that exception is ringing here tonight all across the ring with these strikes. Jonathan Hudson trying to do everything that he can. He'll be attempting a double leg takedown. Anything he can get to make his way to the corner to tag Dirty Devin Diaz, the dirtiest man in professional wrestling. He's trying to find some involvement in this match. Bet he's the dirtiest man in professional wrestling. And he hasn't been in the ring for a while, which is a tribute again to the set incorporated. Their game plan, taking down the champion. What I love about this matchup thus far is that even though Kyoto has been eliminated, the chemistry between setting has not faltered one bit. Now we're seeing Ayala and Vega just completely meshing really, really well, as if they are the tag team champions. See, I knew this was going to happen as soon as they attack. I mean, as soon as that situation with Chungus happened, I knew this was going to be the over here. Only a two count. I'm sorry, Vic. There he is right there, I yell. I just take it. I was about to say, you know, they, that whole sad accident that happened to Chungus has really turned the tide in this match for the set incorporated. And it's only a matter of time. I would just beat up Jonathan Hudson if I can. I would just try to break a bone. Yes, right that right there. Set incorporated does currently hold the ACW Tag Team Championships. They're looking at another championship to their uh, the, the company, to the incorporation of Set Inc. And it'll all happen very soon, according to Rich Port Ayala, who is, keep in mind, gentlemen, your current number one contender for the WWN Proving Ground Heavyweight Champion. That's right. Say, Gus, Gus needs to get out of there. Say, there's a lot of tired bodies in that ring right now. Austin with the discus rolling elbow. Cover, two, three, and Gus De La Vega is out. Now, wait a minute. This ain't fair to poor Rich Ayala. If this is not Rich Port Ayala, this is not fair to him whatsoever. He's a two-on-one situation. 
Now he's standing on his own here across the ring from the heavyweight champion. And this could be what we're going to be seeing soon one on one here at the training center. This is exactly what Rich Port Ayala wanted, but maybe not to be in this position while doing it. Gouging at the eyes of Hudson. The roll up here and he grabs the tights. Wait a minute. No. Yes. Yes, he's been the champion. He pinned the champion. Yes. Well, uh, despite nefarious means, you're, you're correct at that assessment, Vic. Rich Portiola has pinned the WWN Proving Ground Champion. Nefarious? What do you mean nefarious? And look out, it's Dirty Devin Diaz. Rich Portiola better look out right here. Dirty Devin Diaz go over the boot, ducked underneath it is Rich. Continuous strikes from Ayala. Ayala's got to watch out for the slam the dirt from Devin. As right now, that up and over has set him up possibly for success here against Ayala. He's got punches like Dick Slater. It's amazing how dirty this guy is. Man who finds a lot of inspiration in Dirty Dick Slater. Dirty Devin Diaz! Another thing about Diaz, too, I've seen in a couple of his matches, he has the best pinning combos I've seen. He just hooks the guys, he'll use his own legs to hook the other guy's legs. It is destructive, and I've rarely seen anyone ever kick out. Well, meets him with the elbow there, does Ayala. He's looking to put this one away here tonight. Could he be going for poor authority? No, gets out of it as Diaz beats him with the big boo. That's got to be it. One, two, three. But not, they're not going to be winners right now after the second through, though. We got a war, gentlemen. Everybody has just come back out, and it was just absolute bedlam on the outside as Scyther attacks Ayala. And, and this is an absolute upset, gentlemen. Uh, uh, dirty Devin Diaz scoring a pinfall victory over Rich Port Ayala. Both men going into the heavyweight championship match, suffering losses on the evening. What does this mean? for WWN Proving Ground. What a main event, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, WWNlive.com. Subscribe Club WWN to watch more of your favorite WWN content. For the Velvet Voice, Walker Stewart. For Vic Slowhand. For Kirby Carrion. And for Michael James. This has been WWN Proving Ground.